So we're standing on the aft flybridge area of Sojourner here. And as you can see, we have four 530 watt solar panels that we've installed. Uh, this is a custom arc arch with a walkway here that we can utilize. It uh, supports up to 500 pounds on that walkway there. Um, this is all custom, like I mentioned. And if you look over to the right, this boat here has is utilizing actually a Starlink Mini. It's one of their uh, newest products that came out by Starlink. And uh, you don't get as fast of a speed as the ones we usually install, which is called the high performance model. But you can see that the footprint is a lot smaller. And the nice thing about this is you can just remove it, take it with you. It's the size of an iPad. And uh, let's say you get to a nice little island, you wanna camp there, you can take that with you. It can be powered off of a 12 volt uh, battery pack. Um, it's 12 to 48 volts, it'll accept. And uh, yeah, you can literally have internet anywhere with that guy. Awesome. Traditionally, the Starlinks, um, they first started off with like a pole mount version that would articulate and find the satellite. And um, those uh, were always, uh, and, and even the bigger ones, they're powered by uh, 120 AC power which on smaller boats, you're not gonna have uh, 110. You're only really gonna have 110 when you're at the shore, when you're plugged in, and then that 110 really just goes through the battery charger and charges your batteries, which are responsible to run your motors and your navigation equipment, your lights, all that stuff. Now, once we're on a bigger boat, like this boat here on Sojourner, uh, we do have um, inverters on board, which take that battery power that we collect from solar, and um, it converts it and makes it into AC power, which we can then use to run our microwaves and our dishwasher and our you know, higher end Starlinks like the high performance one. Um, on, on Sojourner, we have here the Mini, which is more uh, useful on, on smaller boats. Uh, I mean, the footprint is smaller. You have less equipment to install. Upfront cost is, is, is as well cheaper. You're not gonna get the, the full speed and the quality of service that you would with the high performance Starlink but this would be an exceptional Starlink for a boat of that size, something, uh, a center console, if you will, that does not have an inverter. That way you could just run this guy straight off of your 12 or 24 volt battery bank. On a full uh, high performance Starlink, you're talking about a dish that's 22 by 22 inches. Then you have a power supply that's quite large. It also takes AC voltage. And then you also have a router that is also cumbersome. So you got two pieces of equipment plus the dish and then if you don't have an inverter on your, on your boat, you're gonna to need to get an inverter. So that's just a lot of cumbersome uh, equipment where you could just literally just plug that guy into your battery bank and uh, you're good to go. That is the router. That is the router and the dish all in one. The only, the only downside is that that router is all the way back there. So let's say you're forward in your cabin, you're, you're kind of very far from the actual Wi-Fi signal but um, you could boost it. So there are boosters that you can buy that will grab that signal wirelessly and boost it throughout your boat. Extend, um, extend it, yeah. So I mean, I mean, this application, this Starlink here, I mean, it's nice on this boat. Um, I mean, we actually have this one wired. So this, this Starlink Mini actually goes into a PepWave router. And from that router, we actually, that is our Wi-Fi signal. So we're not picking off the Wi-Fi from here. The router inside in the salon, which is in the middle of the boat, is what's broadcasting our Wi-Fi. So we have good Wi-Fi coverage on this boat. Um, so we've bypassed that Wi-Fi. Uh, and then the nice thing about having a PEP wave is sometimes Starlink bills can get high. They can get expensive if you're, you know, you got kids on board and they're streaming Coco Melon for three hours. I mean, it happens. So uh, the nice thing about the PEP wave is you have different sources. You can select Starlink. You can actually use a, a cellular service. So 50 bucks a month, unlimited. You can use cellular, it's 5G. So 5G, you're probably getting as fast as a speed as Starlink, um, as long as you're in the intercoastal, you're not too far away from shore. Um, and then you can also have a Wi-Fi over WAN or WAN over Wi-Fi, which is where you can piggyback off of an existing Wi-Fi, like say your, your phone's hotspot, or if you're at a marina or a friend's house or at a hotel, you could just piggyback off their Wi-Fi and expand that Wi-Fi inside the boat. So you're actually not eating up your data for the Starlink Mini, I think we're pulling like 110, 120 megabits down and five to 10 up load. Um, the high performance, you're gonna get faster speeds. You're gonna get like 220, 230 on a good day down and then 10 to 20 upload. And those are your two primaries. They also have a recreational version that you can get at West Marine for about 499. Uh, all of the Starlinks are uh, waterproof. So they are you know, designed to be out in the elements. 
Um, but the high performance one is the one that we mostly sell on, on yachts. And then the standard one you'll find more on like smaller boats. And then finally the mini, you'll see those on, a lot on center consoles. And um, uh, they're, they're very popular uh, for people on the go as well. So thanks for uh, joining us here on Sojourner. We're about three quarters of the way done with everything that we're doing here. Um, as far as the automation security side of things, we are done. A uh, little couple more things that we're wrapping up and do include the uh, inverter installation and the uh, isolation transformer. Basically the uh, power side of things um, uh, are still being worked on at the moment as we speak. We're also still finishing off a uh, fuel polishing system for this boat that uh, will you know, keep the uh, engine and fuel lines uh, sludge free. It's, it's a really good thing to do on the boat. Um, but uh, we're, we're pretty much ready to go here. They're gonna be taking this boat out, I believe in about a week. Um, the sea trial should be about tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be testing the navigation. We're gonna be adding the uh, augmented reality, uh, calibrating that so that we can start seeing AIS targets on our masthead camera. It's gonna be really cool. Um, and yeah, just uh, the beautiful weather here in Florida. So it's gonna be great sailing for us.